Uh, praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, welcome to the God Solar 7 and Time Prophecy Channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and um, I'm going to be doing my missing case or cold case um, profile today. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a few weeks late on it. I had a whole lot of things going on here. You probably, if you're on my Facebook channel, you know what's going on. Um, so um, join me in the book of uh, the New King James Version, New King James Bible, uh, Book of Luke, um, chapter 8, verse 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Um, so now this um, this is despicable, this this um, case. Um, I had to go back twice and just reread it because I couldn't believe it. I was so appalled at this. Um, so this is a cold case. Um, a dead child was found um, December 21st, 1988. Um, and I might not say some of these places correctly. Um, Millwood area of Ware County, Georgia, December 21st, 1988. Um, a black female, um, I'll say baby, approximately three years old with bright colored bows in her hair. Um, now this is what is despicable and I can't even believe this. And, and I, I'm going to say this before I even start the story. Um, that I know that a lot of times when people um, commit these crimes, um, they follow up and see what's going on. So if you're out there and you were involved with this, because it seems to me like there was more than one person who had their hand on it, um, God is going to judge you severely. You will not get away with this. You will suffer in eternity in hell for doing this to this little girl. All right, that's enough. Okay. So the little girl was approximately three years old um, with bright colored um, bows in her hair, um, a black child. This is horrible. Her body was found in a brown baby blanket, placed in a gym bag, in a cement-filled suitcase, inside a TV console cabinet. I can't even believe this, so let me just repeat it. I had to go back and look at it again. I was so appalled and so despicable. How could we be, how could our country be, have such moral decay? I can't believe this. So here's where she was. Again, December 21st, 1988, her body was found in a brown baby blanket. And I hope you're listening because you are going to pay whoever did this. So her body was found in a brown baby blanket placed in a gym bag in a cement-filled suitcase inside a TV console. I remember those TV cabinets from the 70s. Inside the TV cabinet. She had um, pajama pants on and a white pullover shirt with the red pony emblem on her upper left chest area. I can't believe this. So she turned out to be a missing person. Where are the people looking for her? She possibly has brothers, sisters, um, grandmas, grandpas. How could this go on? I can't believe this. This is so shocking and appalling in our country. This is not the only one. And they also did a little uh, sketch of what she looked like. Please, someone, please find what's going on and call the police and let them know. Look at how cute she was um, progressed to look. This is a sin, a horrible sin. I can't even say it. So once again, um, if you're out there and you're following this case, um, you need to con turn yourself in right now to the, to the police department. I don't see how you could be carrying this sin with you all these years and not have it be eating you up after. There's more than one person involved. I remember those TVs. Um, in, a, in a suitcase, I can't even believe it, filled with concrete inside of the back of one of those big TVs from, I'm going to say, the 60s or the 70s, a TV console. More than one person did it. Come forward, um, get it off your chest, confess. You're not going to have a good um, eternal life. We know where you're going. And I'm telling you where you're going. You're going to go to hell and burn for doing this to this little baby. This is such moral decay in our country. It's like one after the other, I see. I can't believe people stoop to these levels, uh, and it's so disgusting. I saw, had that other one up on my Facebook page. If you saw it, um, um, the young lady, she was about 33, and her three-week-old baby were missing. And they're looking all over for her. She was found um, far away from her house. I, I, I want to take a guess and say maybe 150 miles away from where she lived, um, dead, in the trunk of a car, but they found her baby alive, thank God. I, I can't believe this stuff. So once again, I'm just going to give you a quick update on Brother Dan. Um, I did put an urgent uh, prayer request out there for him. Um, he had, he didn't know what, some sort of a wound on his arm, and he was getting all ready to come home. And so he went to the doctors. They said it was possibly a spider bite or what they call MRSA, which is a contagious infectious, um, 
I don't want, I don't even know what you want to call it, a contagious infectious disease. But we're not thinking that's what it is. They gave him medication for it. It actually looks like if you enlarge it, which I did, it looks like a spider bite, which they thought it could be too, because there's two little holes in the wound. So he is actually um, planning on coming. He should be home in a few days. We'll put a picture of him up here. I don't know if I'm going to get that prophecy. Um, I am hearing it. I'm posting some of the um, scriptures on the Facebook pages. So if you want to go on there and see what my prophecy is, like I said, as I hear it, I usually put um, scriptures up of what I'm hearing. And I, and I know it's going to be a humdinger based on what's going on and everything in the family, like with Brother Dan, I said, um, not being well. So he, he'll be home, I think, in two days. Um, he's all packed, ready to come. Um, hopefully, um, it's just a spider bite like we thought. And thank you, everyone, for all your prayers. I saw them all. And um, am I missing anything? Um, just once again, please share this. I can't believe people stoop to this level. Um, where's the family looking for these little, this little girl, this little baby? I can't believe it. What a sad story. She's got to have family out there, and whoever did this, um, God is going to punish you severely. Turn yourself in. So please share this video and message um, to all your friends and family. Please ask them please to share it so this could be closed and they could find whoever did this horrible thing to this poor little baby. Um, so again, um, please um, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, and like and follow us on the Facebook panel, uh, channels, um, Sister Barbara Francis, I'll put the link. Um, the King is Coming, Second Coming of Christ, and the Godzilla 7 End Time Prophecy um, Facebook channel. And also we have um, the YouTube channel the same now, which you're probably seeing me here. So remember to subscribe here, because we don't know what's going on again with YouTube and doing everything. All my videos are still there. I don't see that anything um, went wrong with any of the pages, so that's a good plus. Um, and am I forgetting anything else? I'm thanking everyone for all the comments, um, all the encouraging words, the, the translations um, in different languages underneath the videos. Um, thank you for the whole bunch of Christmas cards I got. I didn't go down for the mail yet. Um, thank you everyone for all your support in the ministry. Thank you for the financial support. If you help us, we can help others. Um, and then once again, I did prayer requests um, on Sabbath, um, Friday night um, till Saturday night. Um, and it's the same thing there. Everybody's having um, so many issues, spiritual battles, being attacked, um, families in financial crisis, everything. It's the same thing, cancer. I can't even believe that, that this is going on. Um, we know Jesus is coming just based on this. So please share the message, and God bless you. Um, I never know how it's going to work out if this video is even recording. Um, so God bless you all. Be safe. And once again, when Brother Dan is, gets here, um, I'll try to put a picture up on the Facebook pages so you can see his happy, smiling face. Um, we love all you guys, and God bless you.